Today we're gonna make eggplant parmesan. It's vegetarian, so let's pretend to like it. One, two, three, four. Three cloves of garlic and ten pounds of meat. Cook up some chili for Dylan to eat. And Dylan agrees. It's broad cooking. Dylan, 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 Dylan. Da way, da way. I'd like to introduce my new assistant, Miss Vegetarian of the Year. Oh, Dave, I'm actually a vegan. Sorry, Miss Crazy Vegan of the Year. The ingredients are mozzarella, parmesan, diced tomato, red pesto sauce, tomato, eggplant, mushroom, and garlic. First, I'm gonna chop up some garlic. And Miss Vegan of the Year here is gonna heat up some olive oil in the pan on medium. Then place thick cuts of eggplant into the pan. Let the garlic and eggplant brown a little bit. Then flip the pieces of eggplant once so that the slightly brown side is up. The unbrowned side will now remain downwards for the remainder of the process. If you're not a vegetarian, you can use red meat. Yeah, and if you don't care about the environment. What? Eating one pound of meat emits the same amount of greenhouse gases as driving an SUV 40 miles. Good, so what do you drive? Prius. Well, I drive my BMX bike. Looks like I get to eat all the meat I want. Anyway, what's your name again? You're an asshole. Okay, you're an asshole here is gonna chop up some mustard into quarters and then place them into the pan. Yeah, you can totally take your time with that. I guess I have time to go home and take a shit, and maybe a hot shower, and then uh, manage my finances. I'm doing the best I can, Dave. Well, your best is kind of questionable. The water from the mushrooms should sizzle in the pan once they start cooking. This will keep the other ingredients from burning or browning too much. I'm gonna chop up these two fresh tomatoes here, because if I don't do it, it's gonna take all day. Hey Dave, while you're doing that, do you mind if I talk about something important, like the hideous conditions of factory farms? Yeah, I can't wait. Tell us more. Can I go now? Yeah. Animals in factory farms are treated like meat, milk, and egg machines. Take chickens, for instance. They spend their brief lives trapped in crowded warehouses, so cramped they can barely turn around or even spread a single wing. That's not very humane, Dave. Yeah, chickens are stupid. Next. I'm going to let this freshly chopped tomato cook down a little bit before I add in one can of diced tomatoes. Spread the diced tomatoes and fresh tomatoes evenly over the top. Cover up and let it cook for about 15 minutes. By then, there should be lots of moisture in the pan and the mushrooms should start to cook down. The next step is to add red pesto. Spread it evenly along the top of the contents. Then sprinkle on lots of basil and a bit of oregano. Cover with the lid and let simmer. Are you going to do everything yourself? No, you're going to do it, so I don't want to hear about how much I should love stupid animals. You know, Dave, just because you're more intelligent than a chicken doesn't mean you should eat it. Chickens are actually as smart as doggies and kittens. You wouldn't eat those, would you? No. The flavor will mix into total awesomeness as the juices cook. It may take about 45 minutes. Ooh, 45 minutes is just enough time to talk about the health concerns associated with eating meat. Probably not. I want to talk about some of the leading killers in North America today, including heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and stroke. These are all- Hi, I'm a crazy vegan girl, but what I'm about to say is totally true. Eating meat will give you big boobs. Not eating meat will make your penis shrink. Tell us more. Did you notice how hot Dave is? His apollonian figure makes my knee wobble. On top of his awesomeness, 
He's really, really smart. I completely agree with what you said. Really? Really. Next step is to turn up the heat and sprinkle a block of grated mozzarella cheese over the pan. Then add a bunch of Parmesan and place the entire pan in the oven, preheat it to 400 degrees. Fahrenheit? Fuck, should I, should I specify that for the Americans? I think I should. Shit. Smells good. Nice work, Dave. Obviously, I'm probably like cooking. You're fired. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good, Dave. Let's go get a burger. <laughs>